The demand for musculoskeletal problems is, is growing. And now the same movement down to the left. We know that it's somewhere in the region of 20 to 30 percent of a GP's caseload. But what we're finding is that with the first contact role, because we're seeing them so early in their pathway, they're often being able to be managed without needing to be referred into a traditional um, physiotherapy department. The onward referrals into secondary care, particularly into orthopaedics, have reduced um, by about a third. It's had benefits for the patients themselves, seeing the person most able to help them at the first appointment. Capacity for general practice has increased. Um, both for the immediate and routine appointments. And then press up. I think we've learned a lot from the GPs. I think the GPs have learned a lot from us. Very uh, good. Certainly I feel as a clinician that I'm maximising uh, my skills and experience. So based on your assessment... We're not trying to replace a GP. What we're trying to do is add extra value to um, a patient's consultation. First contact practitioner is somebody that is based usually within a GP practice. A patient will ring the GP practice and instead of going to see a GP, they would come in and be booked directly in to see one of my team. They would be assessed and given the appropriate advice and guidance about how to manage their problems so that they're getting knowledge about how to self-manage um, right from day one. The surgery was very keen to be involved in um, getting this work started, in trying to see how patients could be served better. The way we have everything set up is that the practitioners are indeed the first point of contact. When I graduated from my master's degree, the development of uh, extended scope practice was beginning. And I think first contact is a natural development um, and so that the patients are seeing the right person at the right time. And relax. We have easy access of the practitioners to either the patient's own GP or another GP. If the practitioner sees somebody who they don't actually feel has a musculoskeletal condition, then it's very easy for the patient to be passed on to the right person to be able to see them. How does that feel? We've worked with them to help them become prescribers, which has allowed the patients to be given medication where appropriate, which of course in the long run has helped us. Let me move you. We have demonstrated that our onward referral rate to orthopaedics has been reduced from 28 to 9 percent. So there is a, a, a huge financial implication for what we do managing patients more effectively and efficiently and from a physiotherapist's point of view if we can manage those patients correctly from the start hopefully we are preventing a lot of ongoing persistent and chronic problems. It very quickly became evident that this was a very successful service and then we had to try and grow um, or recruit um, more advanced practice physiotherapists. So we created this accelerated learning program for some of our band sixes and sevens. The idea was always to train them up to an 8A capability. To begin with, um, you're, we were paired up with an, with an experienced advanced practitioner who'd already done some work within primary care already. Our clinics normally run side by side or they run very, very close to each other and that then enables me to dash out and go and ask them if there's any problems or likewise if my clinic's actually ended at that time point then I know that they're going to be there for me to go and discuss the patients through. We have quite a stringent um, appraisal policy at the Trust so I'd be meeting with my appraiser normally on a weekly basis but certainly touching base with um, a first contact practitioner that's experienced in the role uh, at least once per clinic or so. What we've found is the things they've learnt in the first contact role, they've been able to bring back to the benefit of all in the department. Um, and so that cross-learning and understanding how somebody presents maybe first thing uh, in their journey and versus coming into the physiotherapy departments really helped. I don't think first contact roles are going to disappear. I think the demand for them is going to increase. Um, and I think having trained staff that are ready to go has to be the way forward.